Cleaning your data is an essential part of ensuring that your data is suitable for analysis, and enriching your data is a great way to expand your analysis. Oftentimes, people may not think to go to external sources and public sources to find more data and bring that into their organization's data, but doing this and enriching your data can really expand the insights that you'll have. So in Spotfire, we know that data wrangling has multiple different concepts. In this video, we're going to talk about the cleaning and enriching steps. Here I have an analysis showing Airbnb data showing the number of views per month in the Seattle area. And I want to bring in some weather data. So I have at rssweather.com, I have Seattle averages for temperature and precipitation by month. So I'm just going to highlight this and hit control C and copy this to my clipboard. And in Spotfire, I'm just going to hit control V and I will be able to paste this directly from my clipboard into a new data table. And I'll just call this Seattle weather. Okay. Now in my data canvas, I can see Seattle weather, the monthly lows and highs. Let's go ahead and bring in that precipitation data. So I'll copy this and I will add this as columns. And this time I'm just going to go ahead and paste it from my clipboard. Okay. Now we can see in Spotfire with the add columns functionality that it's autom automatically found the month column being the match column and it has a precipitation together with the temperatures. So I'll hit OK and OK and we see all that weather data together. Now I want to join this in with my Airbnb review data. However, in my Airbnb reviews, I don't have any month column. I do, however, have the review date. So what I'm going to do is actually create a calculated column by going to add transformations and calculate new column. Here I'll hit month and I will put in the date column. And this is going to extract the month value out of that date. And I'm going to call this month. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at these month values in my data panel. Now I'll type in month. And I will see here for this column and in the column properties, I see that the month has been extracted. Now it's actually extracted as an integer, but it's formatted as a date part. So if I format it as a general, you can see that the month numbers are here as integer values. Okay, so I have these as integer values, but in my data canvas for my Seattle weather, this month is all in strings. So what I need to do is get this into integer values. So I'm going to add transformations and I'm going to calculate a new column. Here, I'm going to use a expression I've already saved in my recent expressions. That's actually going to look at the month value. If that's January, then make it one. If it's February, then two, March, then three, and so on. So I'll do this and let's just name this month N. Okay. Okay. Now, when I go back to my Seattle data, I can go ahead and add columns here by going to my data that's already in the analysis which is my Seattle weather. And I'll go ahead and line up these columns with the match columns. So I'll add a match for month here and I'll add a match for month N. Okay. So now that these are matched, you can see these are bringing in the weather values and the columns from new data. I don't need to bring in month again. That will get rid of the month two column, the duplicate. And I now have a clean data set that shows the climate for the month that the reviews were left. So I'll hit OK and OK. And now in my Seattle Airbnb reviews, I have the weather all located there. Now I need to clean this because these values are all as strings and I need to use these as numeric values. So what I'm going to do is add a transformation here and I'm going to calculate and replace the column. So here for the low temperature, I'm going to insert that and I want to make this a real data type and I want to just use the left of low and the four left four characters. So that's going to take the left four characters, 56.4, and then that string is going to cast it to a real value. And I'm going to make this the low. And I'm just going to call this low and F, four degrees F. I'll hit OK. And let's go ahead and do this for the highs as well. 
So I went ahead and did this for my high temperatures and my precipitation. When I hit OK, Spotify is going to calculate this in the data canvas and do that transformation. And we'll see that then pop up here. So in information, you can see the expressions that I used to pull out the left four characters and cast those to real for precipitation, high temperature, and low temperature. And you can also see in my final data table all the way on the right, you can see these new values all as numerical values. So let's go ahead and add this to Spotfire into my visualization. Now this is actually a combination chart. So I'm going to hit the plus icon and then I'm going to hit low. Um, I'm going to make it low and I'm going to do the averages and I'm going to do the same thing for the high and the precipitation. Okay, now I've added all four columns. I can't quite see the other columns, so I need to go into my visualization properties and for my y-axis and you make this multiple scales. And to better show these values for the weather, I'm going to make these lines. And we can clearly see here now for Seattle that as the precipitation drops in the summer months and the weather gets a little bit warmer, the reviews go up and it looks like there's a lot more visitors in Seattle here in the summer.